I really don't like this jacket because it's kind of stiff. Hey guys, it's Bethany. Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a very different video for you guys, as you can tell by the title, wherever it is. I don't remember if it's above or below. So as you guys probably know, the Olympics is going on right now and I'm so excited. I don't know if you guys are into the Olympics or not, but I am and I've been like staying up late and sometimes like waking up early to watch events because I really, really like watching them live. I'm really loving watching the Olympics and so I've decided to create this tag for you guys. So I have five different questions about the Olympics um, in my own country and then Canada. Canada. Anyways, and then I have five different beauty products that I'm going to show you guys. One for each of the different colors of the rings. So the first question is, what country are you from and who are your favorite athletes? So I don't know if you could kind of guess by my jacket here, but I'm from Canada and um, my favorite Olympic athletes this year going into the um, Olympics would definitely have to be Patrick Chan and um, Alex Bilodeau. So Patrick Chan is a figure skater. He got second this year. He's, he's really, really good, and he won the last three world championships. I think that he was expected to win gold this year, but he didn't, and that's okay. I mean, um, I think all of us Canadians are just really proud of what he did, and he's only 23, too. Like, he's so young, so hopefully he'll go back and compete again. Alex Bilodeau, I believe this is his third Olympics. In Vancouver, he got the first gold medal on home soil and men's moguls, and he got gold again this year, which was really, really cool. So on to the first product, we are going to start with the blue ring. This first one here is by Clean and Clear and it is called the Popped Pimple Gel Pen and I really like it. I don't know if they still sell this anymore because I got this maybe a year ago. It's like a pen you take off the cap and then you just um, twist this retractable thing at the bottom and then a little bit of this gel comes out and then you just put it on your pimple and I really like it because I think that um, I usually put it on at night. I just think that it's really good for those that's that pop out of nowhere the day before and you don't really know where it came from and you want to treat it really fast. I think that this is really good. This next blue item here is also by Clean and Clear. It is a deep cleaning astrogen and I really just like to use this pretty much kind of like a toner. It says it's a gentle formula that treats and helps prevent pimples and it's for a sensitive skin. So what I do is I'll usually take off my makeup and then I'll wash my face. If I feel like my skin's oily still then I'll just put some of this onto like a cotton swab and then I'll wipe and sometimes it gets a lot of extra makeup that I wasn't able to get off. What are your favorite events to watch? So for me, it has always been figure skating. That has been one of my favorites, like hands down for sure. I love watching figure skating. This year, I also really, really like watching moguls and I really like watching slope style too, which I believe is a new event that they've added in. But it's really cool seeing all the jumps for skiing and snowboarding. It's like so crazy i wish i could do that the next beauty item is going to be for the black ring again i have two products so the first one i believe that i've talked about this before since this is like the only eyeliner that i use but this is the maybelline line stiletto and i really like this i'm wearing it today um for me this doesn't smudge and i just think that it looks very crisp and i think that the felt tip is really really easy to use and apply i started to learn how to do my liquid liner with this. I'm gonna be briefly talking about one of these clips because I really like it because my hair is so long, and especially when it's straight. I feel like it just looks like a mess if I don't do anything with it. So a really simple thing that I like to do is just um, take a little bit of hair to the side like this and then I'll just clip it like so. And I'll just like wear it like that. Next question is how many Olympic medals do you expect your country to win this year? So in 2010, Canada won 14 gold medals and in total they won 26 medals. This year, I'm gonna say 18 gold medals and 30 in total. I don't really know where this guess is coming from. I'm kind of just guessing. I don't really have a beauty product that's red that I like. So I'm going to be sharing the BH Cosmetics Rose Blush Duo. I got this, I think like one or two months ago. And I really like it. I'm wearing it on my cheeks today. It is a little bit dark. You have those two colors there. Usually I'll like take a little bit of this one and put a little bit of that one on my brush too. And then I'll just lightly put it on it. It is very pigmented by itself. So that's why I use um, the lighter color together with it. What is your favorite Sochi moment so far? For me, it is definitely the story that I heard two days ago. So there is this one, um, oh, I also like watching speed skating. There's this one speed skater named um, Gilmore Junio, and he was supposed to be racing in the 1000 meter um, speed skating. He gave up his spot so that his teammate, Denny Morrison, could skate in his place. I think what happened was that Denny fell during the qualification rounds, so he didn't make it. So what happened was that Gilmore gave up his spot for him and he let him race for him, even though Gilmore had like 12 of his family 
members that were in the stands like there watching like wanting to see him and um, Denny ended up getting second place which is I think it's so amazing and that truly just shows Canadian spirit how he gave up his spot for his teammate because he thought that his teammate would have a better chance of winning than he did. I don't know, it's just, I can't imagine even just being at an Olympic level and just getting to the Olympics and then giving up your spot. I think that's so, that's so nice of him. So for the yellow ring, I can't help it. I have two products to show you guys. This first one is my yellow beauty blender. This is kind of dirty. It's really dirty actually because I used it the other day and I have not cleaned it yet. But I got this from Marshalls for like $5.99 or something and I really really like it. I don't r recall the the brand of it. The second product, the writing, is kind of fading off because I use it almost every day. I stopped for a little while but I've been using it again. I talked about this in my last Get Ready With Me video. Um, the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express and it's waterproof and it's so good like you just have to curl your lashes and then you put it on and then your curl stays in all day and that doesn't usually happen for me. If you were an athlete, what sport would you want to be in? <sighs> Definitely have to be one of those ones that I mentioned, um, like one of my favorite ones. Probably something to do with slope style. I think that would be really fun. Or a figure skater because I've always kind of wanted to do that too. So the last beauty product for the green ring is another clean and clear product. This is called Morning Burst. It is shine control facial cleanser with bursting beads, wakes you up, lemongrass, and fruit extracts, oil free. So I really like this. I don't use this every day, but I use this on the days that I feel like my face is going to be um, more oily. Like if I feel like it's more oily in the morning or if I'm going to be out for a longer period of time, then I'll use this because I have such oily skin. And I really like it because it is for shine control and it is oil free. And the last question, just because I'm so curious to know, what kind of programming does your country have for the Olympics? Other than just um, showing the actual events. Like for Canada this year, they're doing something called My Russia where they like go talk to some people in Russia and they talk about their culture and things that are like really popular there or like really important to their lifestyle. They also have a segment called Raising an Olympian which shows um, the parents and they just talk about how I guess their child got into the sport and how it was like raising them which is really cool as well. So does your country have something like that? I just really like watching those kind of segments getting to know the athletes better. Thank you guys so much for watching. I think that this video was a little bit longer than I expected it to be so if you stuck with me throughout the whole thing thank you guys so much. If you are interested in doing this video, then please do it because I take all of you guys. Um, just let me know in the comment section below that you've done it or tweet me your link or something so I can check out the video because I'd really like to see it. Or if you want, just post your answers in the comment section below and I'd love to read them as well. I'm going to take Kristen from Strawberries Please, Rose from It's Rosatron, and Sandy from Sandy Tifel. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye!